what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. It's been a while. At this point, it might as well just be question of the year, since the last time I did a question of the month was in September of 2019, and it's September 2020. So, here's the rundown. Alright, so essentially, the reason why I stopped doing question of the month for a little while is, especially after September of last year, I just kind of got busy with school, and then um, coming into the spring semester, I was busy with school. I finally got my associate's degree, so that's, you know, that'll make it a little bit lighter for a little while, but I'm going back for my bachelor's now. But I've just been... Doing this just takes up a lot of time because I'm going to spend at least an hour recording this and then put a lot of time into editing it as well. Um, but it's just not all going to be at once. And that's, you know, that's why some of them just come out late. And um, I, I honestly just didn't think that they were as interesting as they used to be. But I've had so many people just message me over time saying, Why'd you stop doing question of the month? When are you bringing it back? This, that, and the other. That I finally, I'll bring it back with a few new rules, shall we say. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with how question of the month works, here is just a brief little rundown. I'm going to ask a question related to buses in some way, shape, or form, and then you're just going to, you're just going to tell me your answer to whatever question I have. So, you're either going to put it in the comments below, or you can email me a video, which I'll talk about in a minute, of yourself talking about said answers. Then, in the next question of the month, I'll review all of the answers to the last question, and, well, you basically get a free shout-out in the video, and then I'll ask another question, and then just keep on going and going and going, and um, hopefully we don't have to wait another year for the next question of the month. All right, so if you'd like to do a video for a question of the month so that you can shout yourself out or you can put in whatever pictures of buses, please, no, just random pictures of random stuff or whatever, keep it appropriate, then you now have the option to do that. And it doesn't have to be anything good. It can be a webcam. It can be your phone. Uh, it, it can be a screen recording. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You don't have to show your face if you don't want to. Um, but just shoot me a video if you want to. So just a couple things about the videos. If you want to do that, uh, great. Thanks for making my life a little bit easier. Just keep in mind, keep it appropriate. Keep it around a minute at most. You can go a little bit over. I don't care, but I don't need a 20 minute video inside an already 20 minute video. And keep all the background noise out if possible. I know, you know, you might hear this that or the other but like no music or anything that'll get me copyrighted or i don't need pots and pans you know being banged up against the wall and stuff like that just uh I, just common sense and video i think and if you do decide to shoot on your phone shoot it that way just please it, it, it just looks better if you do this way i don't really care but you know this way looks better and then you can send it to my email. Put the hashtag question of the month or QOTM in the title. And then in the next video, I'll put it in there. And uh, that's that. Again, I'll put every, I'll, I'll try and put everything in the description just so that uh, you, you can get kind of a better synopsis of this. Because I'm just kind of, I don't want to say I'm making this up. I've thought this through a little bit. Uh, clearly not enough, but check the description for more details on if you would like to submit a video and make my life easier. All right, and with that, <laughs> let's review last year's question, which was, what did your district get that has been in service for a year now? Let's get into that. That guy, Cedric, said, We have a 2020 ICCE with the Cummins B6.7 later, and it has tinted windows with eight storage bays. It's Ontario spec. Okay. 
We also got a ton of views, 13 CEs to replace second gen ones, all the 13 CEs. We got roll call and they have the Max 4 7. I've said it once, I'll say it again, tinted windows and black window posts belong on all CEs, all ICs really. Um, yeah, Max 4 7, okay, that's not my favorite, but could be worse. Spongy said, well, South Carolina has a 15-year replacement policy, 30-year actually, but my district got one 19 C2 activity bus and a 2020 C2 shorty handicapped bus. He then went on to say, quick thing about first student, look below. Instead of saying owned and operated by first student, they should say SH and dollar sign FIED and made by a POS by first student. Carson said, in July, my district bought two new 77 passenger 2020 CEs, both with under storage and Cummins engines. Nice. Caleb said, now for new buses, my district slash contractor got this year. Last week, we got a 2020 CE mid-sized. We were also supposed to get a few full-size 2020 CEs and Collins, but I guess they're still being built or they went to another terminal. Now we also got buses that aren't new, but new to us. There is a 2019 and 16 Vision, uh, which traded both of our 17 and most of our 18 ICs, which were sent to Bloomington due to them needing more buses. I have been to Bloomington quite a handful of times, actually. Also, we traded in a Max 4 7 this year, and those were replaced by lease returned 2013 CE 300s with Max Force DTs. JD or the Gamer said DKSD did good this year, last year. <laughs> they did good last year. We replaced most of our 2005 CEs with 2020 Gas Visions. Info will be listed below. Four, which was a 2005 CE with seven, a 2020 Gas Vision. Eight, which was a 09 CE was turned into 18 2020 gas vision and 05 05 ce 21 2020 gas vision bus 26 said my school district got new 2019 ic buses this year they got 12 short ce's numbered 200 to 211 which are only six windows long and four slightly longer ce's number 212 to 215 that have wheelchair lifts they also got four new 90 passenger REs numbered 15 through 18. They have a total of six storage bays with two on the right side and four on the left. And all of the new buses my district got have air horns too. I haven't seen the REs on routes yet, even though they arrived back in April. I've seen them as the bus for several sports events though. Those sound like really nice buses with the air horns and it being the REs, lots of storage bays could be very useful too. Rudy said, we got new 2020 ICCEs, REs, and a 19 safety liner. I assume he means HDX because I think he's in California, but could also be C2. Jesus said, we got one 2020 C2 and two 2020 Visions. One of them is mine. Both go to my school. All three have backup camera. Well, I just realized it wouldn't be his anymore, but um, it was his. All three have backup cameras, making them the first buses in my county to have backup cameras, which is pretty cool. Yes, that is pretty cool. I think that all new buses should have backup cameras standard. They also put in some different cameras placement, slightly changed also. One is a dash cam and the same as the back monitor window. Both are a small three inch camera. Also, this is for the visions, not sure for the C2. Adam said, we got nine 2020 C2s. The first year we got AC on non-special ed buses. I know you and I have talked about this, Adam, but AC just deserves to be on all buses because it's important everywhere. Even, you know, over there where it's not as hot as it is here. Bus 93 said, my district got 14 CEs for 2020 and is struggling at the moment and switching route buses every day with spares and other buses with taped paper. It's a disaster. Here are some examples and you can see them on screen. While I'm showing those on screen, kind of a similar story. 
we got 2013 CEs back in 2013. I was a sophomore then, and that was my route bus. And for, I don't know, two months, I was riding a Bluebird 3800, and all of the 13 CEs that hadn't come in yet, their sub buses, they had poster board over the original numbers with the new buses numbers spray painted on, which was equally as bad. Damien216 said, we got our new 19 CEs during the beginning of the 19 school year and they are so awesome. They have the Cummins B6.7 liter with an even higher horsepower and torque ratings, Allison transmissions, mobile climate control AC units on the rear and one at the front and the vents are located on the left side of the bus. Nice. Christopher said, two new Bluebird Visions, one is a spare and the other one is a handy. CSX8817 production said, my district bought new 19 C2s, same specs as the 16 and 17 C2s, same engines which every new bus has. The Cummins, but the air brakes sound like a C2 mixed with an Amtran, the numbers uh, 390 to 405. Steven said, we got our newer buses in May of 2019. The new ones we got this year are three 2020 Visions powered by propane, two full-sized and one handy. We will be getting more propane Visions next year, aka this year. Garrett said, my district got a new or used, can't really tell the difference, Vision, and I noticed that towards the end of last year they also got a Bluebird Microbird as an activity bus. It I go 23, I think that's an I, not an L, but I don't know. We got our 2020 CEs last school year. First one I saw was in January 2019. I rode a handy 2020 CE for about a month before school let out. My bus driver got it in April. I ride an 09 CE 300. We should also be getting our 2021 CEs this year. I predict we will. Also, I have pictures of the 09 that I ride. I will link three of them here. Also, I snuck a different bus in there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, open it up. I'm going to hope that none of those were StarCraft Dodges, but I'm going to also say that one of them was a StarCraft Dodge, so... Sorry. Connor, bus driver 43, said 2019 EFXs, three of them, to replace 2,000 Bluebird A3FEs, three of those. Shame to see those go. I really like A3FEs. Eric Freeze, 19, said we got a new 44, 42, 49, 38, and 67. 44 is a new Vision, 38 and 67 are new C2s, 42 and 49 are used Amtrans from the neighboring district, which is very interesting. That is the last thing that I would think people would be getting now, is Amtrans, considering they've pretty much been out of business for 20 years at this point, but hey, still cool. ICCE83 wrote a whole paragraph and said, well, my district has been splitting their order for about five years which may be kind of weird for how much we get every year. We got two 2020 gas visions, 256 and 57, and then for IC buses, 258 and 259 are uh, 2020 gas CEs. I actually ride 257. It's my first gas bus I've ever ridden and the first full-time route vision I've been on. Hopefully this isn't the only year we get gas. I'm loving them. We also bought a new used bus, which is weird. We got a 2011 D3FE Handy. Again, another very interesting choice there. I'm thinking we got it because we were too broke to buy a new handy or something. We got rid of a few too. Uh, a 2004 Bluebird 3800 handy, an 06C2, and all 08C2s. Okay, well, respectable, but... And again, another interesting choice, getting a D3 when, uh, you know... I guess it makes sense since, you know, if you're trying to save some money, you'd buy something older, but... Yeah, cool. Crafting Twins said, My district tends to replace buses when they're around 10 years old, but that's just really first students thing. I, I, I haven't done a question of the month in so long, and I haven't mentioned, I, I haven't even done face-to-face -face videos regularly on a normal basis, and I forgot how much I just hate first students. 
The few buses still ran by the District Transportation Department are 0506 a 3 fes We inherited some 06 CEs from another district and one from another company. Can't find any evidence of, it, of its existence. That tends to happen with a lot of bus enthusiasts, unfortunately. Around seven years ago, those replaced the first-gen CEs we had. I rode one at this time. Most of those were replaced with 2018 C2s in late 2017. We also got two 09-ish visions from another district. I'm guessing for a student did some trading of some sorts here. And they are the only visions we have in our district. We got a very nicely specced C2. Uh, tint, black window borders, chrome grill. I approve. From the same district, and I'm assuming it's so nice it's from Roher Bus Sales, not directly from Thomas like everything else. I only know this because I can see the remnants of the stickers left on the paint behind our district's lettering. We also have loads of EFXs, which came to replace all the buses that our district had. Because our district is finishing up its transition to first student, our district got a grant in 2013 to buy two new Type D buses, which ended up being 2014 EFXs. And I hope that in the past year, that first student deal did not go through. But it probably did. Go Transit fan now discontinued said mine got a 1992 Thomas GMC Type A. Huh? What? Oh my goodness. Almost 30 years old and you're just getting it as new? Wow. Ross Buckner said my district only got two new C2s. Brady said 2020 CEs, Visions, and C2s. Hillsboro is now specking those awful LED strobe lights and route changer signs. The Visions have no streamer and yellow roofs now. I agree. Standard, like non-strobing LED is much better than strobing LED. Route changer signs, I don't really care. Never grew up with them. Don't have anything against them. No streamer. I really wish Bluebird was doing streamers normally now. Yellow roofs on Visions, that's uh, not doable at all. Gavin said, my district purchased four Bluebird Visions, all 2020s. All four have this 6.7 ISB spec at 220 horses. Three of them have the standard length and one is special needs. All are spec full LED and the special needs has AC. We're also on rotation where each year we trade four of our oldest and purchase four. However, we only purchase from Bluebirds because of the warranty. Okay, makes sense. Daniel said, my district has continued replacing our ICCE 200s with new C2s. All the FE 300s have been put out of service. Also, one of our new CE 200s got a metal hood after being in an accident, which is surprising that the bus wasn't replaced altogether, as all the CE 200s will be replaced within the next few years, probably just to save some money if I had to guess. Ethan said, Smith Bus got a few new 2020 gas CEs I really liked last year when they got the 19 CEs with Cummins. Alex said, my district got some Bluebird Visions. Lots of buses got replaced due to rust. Gotta love Ontario. That is why I will never buy a Northern bus. Way too much rust. Right, Noah? Trucker57 Ed said, absolutely nothing. Zilch, zip, nada. Rumor has it we were supposed to get new buses over the summer, which would replace 27, which is an 09 C2 that he rode. Fingers crossed. I don't know if it happened or not. It's been a whole year. <laughs> it's been a whole year since I've done this. Gosh. Project 29 said, I think more safety liner C2s. Good choice. School Bus Driver 71 said, We are getting new 2020 gas visions, all LED, non strobing. This is a pick of one. It's Cobb County, but the same spec. Also, I found a picture of my bus from 2007 when it was brand new. Okay, so let's look at the Cobb County bus first, which is, uh, okay, yeah, I could do the warning light visors, but uh, other than that, let's look in, it's looking pretty good. And then the 07 bus, ah, yes. The EC7 too. Very interesting. We've talked about this in live streams before. So, EC7 too. Interesting. And I'm really wish that there would have been more than 25 produced. But, what can you do? The State of Memes said, We just got new 2020 Bluebirds and new minibuses. They're microbirds. Ostrich29 said, We got some new 18 CEs last year. My district has to use buses basically until the steering wheel falls off or it kid falls through the floor because of rust good what the good what, what 
I don't even know what to say. No, that has not happened yet, but I am waiting for the day for it to happen. Okay, well, um, let's hope that it doesn't happen because that is extremely unsafe. We just don't have a lot of money, so yeah. Edit, we got one HDX and one C2. Cringe Driver 69, interesting name. 2020 Bluebird Vision and White Roof Microbird G5s. It's our first bus type to have white roof. White roof is far superior than yellow roof. It just it just looks a lot better on buses. Fight me. Zionix, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong, just like Safety, safety Liner C2, C2, said we have a 15-year replacement cycle per year. We usually trade in three old buses and buy new three new CEs. We get very plain spec. No black roof streamers, tinted windows, and LED lights. Just the cheapest things you can think of. They ride super smooth, though. I, I, I really wish that, you know, no district just got bare bones buses. But, you know, not all districts can afford it. And it's unfortunate because they don't look as nice most of the time. Bus 5 said some new school buses we got were 2018 CEs. And I believe 2020, 19, or 18 C2s, and we also got 18 Aries. Gone with the Wind said, 2020 update, nothing. We did get two more Ford Transit 150s. And there we go. That is all of the comments from last month's... Last month? <laughs> from last year's question of the month. Obviously, it's been a little while. And, uh... I don't know if you're able to tell. I think I'm a little bit out of it. All right, so huge shout out to everyone who commented. Greatly appreciate it. And make sure that you put in your comment or shoot the video and reply to whatever question I'm about to ask next so that you can get a free shout out in hopefully next month's and not next year's video. Anyways, let's move on to the question and discuss that. All right, so this month's, maybe this year's, I, I don't know at this point. Hopefully this month's question is with specific to buses. What the heck is your district doing with COVID and transportation? Because this is clearly not something that we saw coming last year, like at all. Now, I assume that there are going to be a lot of similar answers here, but the district here where my brothers go to school, they haven't put out anything specific to buses, which is kind of unfortunate and absolutely necessary for them to do. Mind you, the district here has been doing online learning since they started school in the beginning of August, and they're not going back until the middle of October as of right now. And I've been looking around on their website. I looked around um, just for anything local, and I haven't been able to find anything. So I don't think any district, any local district around here has even come up with a plan. And if they have made a plan, then it's either not on their website or not public yet until, you know, a few weeks before school starts, which that's not how it should be working. Now, I was able to find a few articles specific to Arizona, but unfortunately, most of the stuff is just being left to the individual districts on what needs to be done or, you know, how they think that it should be handled and nothing from the state itself other than a couple recommendations, which, again, I think are just pretty basic recommendations. First off, you know, obviously wearing a face mask, you know, because that's kind of important. And sitting either one student per seat per row, or if there is a family, sit seating them together and then leaving space in between every other row so that they can try and maintain around six feet, even though it's not. Buses are going to be disinfected after every trip, which again should be standard, uh, making sure that people are using hand sanitizer when they get on and off the bus and then last but not least is just you know minimizing the amount of people that they can have on the bus at once which has put a huge strain on districts all over the country 
and it's just you know the, the, this article that i'm looking at says 15 to 20 kids per bus in a bus that would typically fit 50 people like that's crazy i'm not going to try and get political diving into the depths of everything because i most certainly could and kind of want to but just for the sake of this video i'm not going to but there just needs to be more guidance and and more regulations and there there hasn't been uh because leaving it to the districts while yes it is a good idea we need at least state mandates for school transportation and i know a lot of people don't like doing online learning from what i've heard but it just schools need to stay online in my opinion and just avoid buses as much as possible it, it was weird today i was going out today and i saw one of our district's buses for the first time since probably april or whenever the schools got out here march april i don't even know when it was at this point it's just it, it's not safe at all and as much as i want buses to be out on the road again it really just in my opinion it really shouldn't be happening until our numbers are a lot lower than what they are but that's just me and i'm not going to dive any deeper into it because politics Alrighty, there you go that is the question how is your district handling transportation during covid very interested to hear what y'all have to say again let me know either in the comments below or by shooting a video please make my life a little bit easier please i would greatly appreciate it again check the description for all the details on how to submit a video if you want to Alrighty, and that's gonna do it it's kind of nice being back doing these face-to-face -face style videos i haven't done one of these in quite some time and uh it's nice so hopefully I'll be able to get back into that. But until the next video, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it from each and every one of you who's watching. Thank you for the support. And, um, you know, let's talk. So, yeah. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down and care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or any videos that are submitted to me are going to be shot like that. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Show it to your dad. Show it to a guy in a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So... Yeah guys, that is going to do it for this video, thanks for watching.